<laughs> but with Love It, though, too, that they were, it was known that they weren't moving or were moving or whatever. What was the deal there? Are we allowed to talk about that? Well, it's all, it's all over the internet. Right. And uh, I mean, the, 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 yes. I mean, the story of Love It or Listed is it's supposed to be a couple and they're divided between do we want to stay and renovate our home or do we want to move? I think, I think people are savvy enough now that they know that on a real estate show, we can't, they can't go out and shoot a bunch of houses. Um, let's, oh, oh no, so Love It or List is different because you're renovating the house you already own. But, but those, some people did move, but they didn't ever, nobody could ever move to the house that they saw on the show because those houses were gone by the time you know, the, the length of time that the takes to shoot a show. Right. Whereas if you look at a show like Property Brothers, for example, those people are looking for, th they look at three properties and choose one to buy. Right. They already own this one. <laughs> because you can't, you can't go and go, we're going to go and look at three properties and then all of them sold or all of them go over bitter. And then you have a whole episode of, oh, okay, well, we didn't get a house. So what do we do now? <laughs> right. right. So on there, they had to, they already own the house that, that they're going to pick. They've already bought it. Same thing when you look okay. at, when you watch shows like House Hunters and all of that. Right. They've already bought that. They bought one of those houses that they've gone to look at. They've already bought. They had to. Or you'd have a whole show. And you'd go, oh, well, we couldn't buy any of the houses. Yeah, when we did take this house and sell it, they those people were actually really, really were trying to sell their house. We would go in. That's why I think it was legitimately, okay, we really only have 48 hours to stage it, to, right. what's that called, flip it, to try to right. fix it up for them. And then they would try to sell it. So, And usually by the time it aired, whatever they would they would tell the, the truth at the at the end of every episode they would say hey the house sold or the house never did sell because right. there was enough time that passed by that we've already left you kept the house on the market and then right. they would say whether it sold or not all right so now you're doing scott's show and it's how does what's the premise of uh vacation vacation house so scott, scott's vacation house rules yep um which you've been on well oh yeah yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the funny thing is because they come here yes it, it doesn't feel like i was on, were on it i forget that i'm on that show because they come here to my shop so it doesn't feel like i went anywhere and filmed anything right it feels right. different than i forget yeah i've only been on once but we filmed the second one that hasn't aired yet but w what's the premise so the 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 premise is that scott uh is helping people who own second properties to take those properties and rent them out as uh, to get rental short-term rental income. Um, but we've done, which the episode you were on was a coach house. Yeah. At the back uh, in downtown. Houston. It looked amazing when they were done. I heard the clients didn't like it. She didn't, it was too dark. Who the fuck is that?